Good morning. Today I'm going to head up to Loch Winion for a wee walk. This is sheep country, so I would strongly recommend if you've got a dog, I would leave it at home. Um, but anyway, it's a nice walk up from the Lorison Gatehouse Road up over the top, so we'll head up there now and just see what lies ahead. Probably your first and only obstacle that you'll come across, but uh, if you don't like crossing these ladder stiles, then I'm sorry. There's no other way. And there ahead lies where we're heading for that ridge in front of us. I'm probably about halfway up the hill now and uh, one thing you've got to watch, there's a lot of sheep tracks here and it's very easy just to wander off and suddenly realise you're off the main path. But I'll just pan round now and uh, let you see the view but it's much better once you get to the top but there you're looking across to Cairns Motor Fleet in the distance there and Laghead Farm down in the valley and right across the fleet NSA National Scenic Area It's really actually quite windy up here today and uh, I managed just to get out of the wind in a wee sort of hollow here I said the last time I was about halfway up, well, that was a lie. I was probably about quarter of the way up. This is more like halfway up. And if you look across there, it's the fell of Lag Head. And as we come back round, again, looking pretty much across the same way as we did the last shot. One thing to note, I'm coming up through quite a bit of dead bracken. But by the height of the summer, that bracken could be quite tall and uh, the path might not be that easy to follow. I'm not too sure how well you can see this actually uh, in the film, but there's a channel there that goes round the side of the hill. And if I'm not mistaken, that is probably one of the lades that went from Loch Winion down to Gatehouse to feed the mills uh, in years gone by. I think there's more uh, evidence of that once we got up to Loch Winion itself, so I'll maybe add a bit more in then. Hopefully, you can see that okay. Yeah, you probably have to take my word for it, but you can see there the tunnel where the water comes out, and we'd head down this track here ditch lead. This is bog myrtle, a very common plant in the uplands. Doesn't half smell a bit at times but uh, it said if you rub it on your clothes or on your face and that it'll keep midges away but I'll take that with a pinch of salt. You'll find quite a few of these uh, dog violets up in the uplands. You'll find them in various other places as well of course but um, at this time of the year when there's not a lot of colour in the uplands, they're quite prominent and easy to see. The other thing you'll come across quite a lot at this time of the year in the uplands uh, are drinker moth larvae, these caterpillars over winter as caterpillars and emerge at this time of the year. Some people can handle them, some people don't. Uh, the hairs can stick to your hand and be quite irritant at times, but uh, they're a favourite food of the cuckoo of course. This is the first of two cairns on the way up. We'll just walk around this and give you the view. I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'll put the drone up and I'll put it almost directly above where I am and I'm going to pan a 360 degree and let you see what's out there. So you're looking right across the National Scenic Area, looking across towards Cairnsmore itself and as the camera pans further round that's us looking over towards the fell of Lag Head. 
and as we keep on going round you'll now get a glimpse of Loquinion itself and then Pan and we'll keep going round in a 360 until we get back to the start. As we come over for the seat, you come to the next cairn which is quite near the water, you pass these rather unusual looking pits. I suspect that there'll be more to do with the digging of the lead than archaeological features. I don't think they're burnt mounds, but I'm sure somebody will tell me different. This is the start of the lead, I suggest here, where the water leaves the lock and heads up. And as you go up through here, there is uh, a channel on the other side and there's obviously a valve there that would let the water away and it would head down into gatehouse via the channels that we saw earlier. Although this isn't just my understanding of it, that's not to say that it's correct. I think this could be as good a bit as any to finish the walk for today. Uh, so th again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again sometime. But what I'll do is I'll just do a short walk along the beach here. Um, and just play you out with some uh, music. Music